Hey guys and welcome to this quick video. Uh, in this I'm just going to show you how to uh, putty to uh, SSH into your virtual machines. Uh, I'm making this video mainly for my Azure um, video series. So we were just creating virtual machines um, and this is just a quick way how you can connect to those virtual machines, uh, Linux virtual machines over SSH. So what you want to do, um, download putty. Uh, the link will be in the description and then you just click here, download putty and then download the 64-bit and that will download the installer and then just install it. Then once you've installed it, you want to open up uh, PuTTY. I go to PuTTY Gen. And then once you're here, uh, you are going to go to uh, Generate. So what's the, what this is gonna, uh, what this is going to do is generate a uh, public and private key pair. Uh, so think of the public uh, peer, uh, key as the lock and the private as the key. Um, so you need both to unlock whatever resource you're going to use. So the virtual machine will be locked with the public and the private will sit on your computer when you make the connection. It unlocks it, verifies the connection, authenticates, and you can do the connection with the virtual machine. So we're going to generate it. So you click generate and then you just move your mouse over that little square and it generates it pretty quickly. So this Straight away will give you your public and your private key pair. So there was you click save for public key. Um, and you can choose wherever you want to save it. I'll just save mine um, actually just on my desktop. And I will name this uh, key, uh, uh, key public. Save. And then save the private. Yes, so you can secure it with a password as well so that means when you connect to your virtual machine you connect using the certificate but then it'll also or the key pair but then it'll ask you for a password as well it's just a double layer of uh, security um, I, I'm not, not using it but you can um, just preference and more security really um, so I have to key private oh, and then I'm gonna hit save so essentially so what's going to happen is I'm just going to quickly show you um, as in a quick example you were in Azure, for example, uh, you create a resource, create a virtual machine, and then in the virtual machine, you would need a key pair. So we'd use an existing one because we actually have one, and then we'd come here and we would grab our public key, right? Copy, and you would paste that public key in here. And then when you were to go to connect to it, what you'd do is, you would finish making the virtual machine and you would open up party the normal party not party gen you would enter in the ip address of the virtual machine the, the public ip address come down to ssh go to auth go to browse uh, you'd go to desktop and you'd stick the private key so the private key is going to authenticate you connecting to your virtual machine that has the uh, public one open and then you can make that connection and that's essentially how you use it so public i mean private stays with you public goes onto whatever you want to uh, connect to or secure or uh, encrypt or whatever um that's what you'd use so yeah that's pretty much how you use um and create a ssh, SSH file so also if you needed to uh, load up your public key again and find out what it was. An easy way to do it is to open up the key generator, hit load, load the private, open, and then your public key would be shown again. Uh, let me just re-show you that. Uh, key, sorry, uh, party, then load, load that private, open, bam, there's our public. Um, yeah, so that's how you do it. Simple. There you go. Um, that's it for this video.